Hey guys! So I told Carden I wanted to make mooncakes, and as clear as the sky, he said he would not make them. So that just leaves me here today. And today on Victor Street, we are going to attempt to make mooncakes. So uh, let's get started. First, we're going to make the crust. Sift 240 grams of all-purpose flour. Next, create a small hole or a crater in the center of the bowl. Pour in 160 gram of golden syrup, one egg yolk, 30 grams of oil, and 10 grams of creamy peanut butter. And we're going to mix this all up. Make sure it's mixed evenly. Use your hands if you need it. If it's a little too dry, add more oil. I tend to like my crust a little more sweet, so I added more golden syrup. Keep mixing. Now lay out some plastic wrap and cover your dough. We're going to leave this in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Now we're going to start on the filling. Here's 200 grams of mung bean. Make sure you wash and rinse your mung beans. Place it in a pot. You're going to put in 100 grams of sugar. And we're going to add some water. Stir. You're going to keep mixing the mung beans until it is nice and almost mushy looking. Now we're going to add this to the food processor. Leave it to cool. I tend to like my filling a little more sweet, so I'm going to add more sugar. We're going to stir this in there for a little bit more. And then we're going to turn it on. It should look this smooth. Now we're going to put it in a small pan and cook it on medium high. This process is pretty long. We're going to have to keep stirring until it becomes a really nice paste. Make sure you add 75 grams of oil. And then we're going to keep stirring. I added 10 grams of flour to make it more doughy. And we're going to keep stirring for a very long time. At least 30 minutes, you guys. This is so satisfying to watch. As you can see, it's getting a little more sticky and a little more tacky. We're going to keep stirring. Keep stirring until it looks like this. And then we're going to bring the heat down to medium low. Ta-da! We're going to leave it cool for five minutes. Now we're going to put this on plastic wrap, cover the filling, and leave it in the fridge for about mm, half an hour. When your dough is cool, take it out and cut about 100 grams of the crust. We're going to flatten it out, so make sure you put some flour on the cutting board. And put some flour on the rolling pin as well. Our goal is to make this as flat and thin as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to make sure that it's flat and thin. Now we're going to roll our mung bean filling. It's going to be about 150 grams. We're going to create a crater in the center and put a salted egg in the center and close it up. Then we're going to wrap the filling with the crust. Cut off any excess. Now we're going to roll it into a ball until it's like this. There we go. Ta-da! I had to use an old school molding. I had to call Kayla because the moldings that I wanted couldn't get because someone didn't read my text the night before. <laughs> but uh, you have to imagine like someone, this is made out of wood, someone had to sit down and like meticulously carve this. Now while the oven is preheated to 375, we're going to put some flour in the mold so the mooncake can come out easy. 
Now we're gonna put the filling in the mold and we're gonna press down as hard as we can. Then we're gonna tap the mold on the board and get it out. Crack an egg for our egg wash and we're gonna coat the mooncakes very thinly. Put these in the oven for about 10 minutes. Cool it for about five minutes and then we're going to put a second wash on the mooncakes. We're gonna put these back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Leave it to cool for five minutes and we're gonna put a final wash on the mooncakes. We're gonna put these back in the oven for about 15 minutes or until it gets golden. Ta-da! And there you have it, mooncakes. Uh, thank you so much for watching Victor's Food. I hope you really enjoyed this special. Uh, I hope you guys go out and celebrate the Jumtu. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.